Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wayslam reviewer, and I'm here to review Movie Trailers, A Love Story. And this is a new documentary from John Campia, who I've been a fan of John Campia's work for a long time, since the AMC Movie Talk days, and I still regularly watch his show on his YouTube channel. And I was excited to hear that he was making his own film because he has such a passion for film and such an interesting perspective, and specifically this documentary on movie trailers. And I've heard a lot from his show, his perspective on movie trailers, and watching this documentary, being a huge fan of movies, and having an evolving perspective on movie trailers, I thought this documentary was a really strong documentary. It presented the history of trailers, where they came from, why they existed, have that historical perspective, and then the documentary is really well structured into parts, it's set up, it has nice title cards that lead into the next section, it has a wide range of different perspectives speaking on each of these different topics and aspects of movie trailers. Whether it's those who actually make movie trailers, writers, directors, and other movie personalities, they had a few, like the real film rejects who do trailer reactions. They had them, one of the members on there. They have like Scott Mance, who's huge into film reviews and movie coverage. Gray Drake from Rotten Tomatoes. And then like Christian Harloff, who does the Schmodown and how the trailers have influenced how he promotes his own materials. And you have Robert, Ma Robert Meyer Burnett, of course. And you get all these different perspectives on their feelings of whether it's do trailers show too much? Do trailers misrepresent movies? What are your favorite trailers? You get all these different aspects, all their different perspectives, and it's interesting, especially from being such a huge fan of movies, getting to listen to all their perspectives on things. What were the trailers that really influenced them and left the mark on them? What are And it isn't just one perspective on things. There's disagreements in the documentary between different people especially talking about like Marvel trailers, which purposefully put scenes in the trailers that will not appear in the movies to hide secrets, to not spoil things for the fans. And is that ethical? Should they be doing that? And there's differing perspectives on that. For me, I'm not, I'm not really against that in particular, but it's interesting thinking about one of the points that was, two biggest points that really hit for me we're talking about the giving away too much because I do think movie trailers give away too much but it's interesting because most mainstream audiences I'm not a mainstream audience member they want to know what they're getting and that's why and a lot of really big film buffs who watch these trailers as well are like they showed way too much but are they really for us and that's an interesting perspective and this film discusses that. The biggest one for me is how they represent the film. And you can have a great trailer and it's not even about quality. And one perspective that I thought was interesting that wasn't necessarily discussed in the documentary, like A24 horror films. They're portrayed in such a way that they really lean towards this is going to be a much more straightforward kind of horror film. But you know it's from A24 and no way it's going to be one of those things. And they talked about, like, Bridge to Terabithia, the lo um, love and other drugs. They didn't even bring up stuff like Sweeney Todd or Into the Woods. It didn't even portray that this was a musical. And you have all of these different perspectives, and John Campia has a very well-structured, well-represented, and using different kinds of visual aids, whether it's data or descriptions or quotes or um, I appreciate it. She even showed like box office numbers and statistics throughout the film that really added to the story being told visually or being told by the people being interviewed. And in general, I think Movie Trailers A Love Story is a really well-crafted and intriguing documentary that really takes a look at movie trailers. And for me, I don't even really watch them anymore. And especially because like Obviously, I love sitting in a theater and like seeing a trailer for the first time and getting goosebumps and stuff like that. But I try to avoid them now because I don't want to have those preconceived 
notions of what this is going to be going in a lot of the times anymore. And it's interesting where movie trailers will go now that so many things are just digital and streaming right now. But I think this is a intriguing film, especially at this time at a point where movie trailers and how they're presented are definitely going to be shifting along with the rest of cinema. But definitely go check out John Campia's new film, movie trailers, a love story, and check out his YouTube channel because he has a lot of perspective and he has a lot of guests with great perspectives and talks everything movies. But those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Thank you for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.